Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. When I make CNC videos for this channel, it has a tendency to generate a lot of questions from new users on simple and easy to make projects to kind of sort of get your feet wet with your new CNC. And so this video is dedicated to all of you who have asked the question, what should I start with? And so I'm going to go ahead and run through a couple of different projects I think are easy and approachable for new users to tackle. Now, some of them are easier than others, but I still think all of them are in the realm of doable. But more importantly, they're projects that people have a tendency to purchase because they're really, really useful around the house or useful for the children or useful for other things. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the first project. The first project that I recommend is something relatively simple to make, but it's something that I didn't start with, and maybe it's something I might regret a little bit, but I had a little bit of a fear to tackle this project. And so the project that I recommend is creating a bowl. Now this happens to be an off cut from an end of a cutting board that I made that I wasn't sure what to do with. And so I decided to go ahead and try my hand at uh, carving out the center with the CNC and then kind of lopping off the edges to create this really cool hexagonal pattern. And so I I think it turned out really well and we use it for a ton of stuff around the house. Every time we have a party, we fill it with something. Every time we have people over, we fill it with something. And so normally it's just kind of stashed in the dining room with a lot of other cutting boards that I have made. But when we're not using it, it really has become a go-to accessory for pretty much any entertaining that we do in our house. This specific bowl was created with a bowl cutting bit that I got from Rockler, and then I actually used the table saw and the chop saw to create the outside profile and then a round over bit on the router table. You don't have to do any of that. You can simply just hand sand the round overs if that's what you want, or you can put a nice chamfer on the outside or on the inside, however you you want to do it but this is very easy to do and it is uh, highly desirable whenever you're out there selling these things at your craft fairs if that's something you choose to do the second project that I recommend is a little bit of a riff off of the first project it is a bowl of sorts. It is a bowl with an engraving in the bottom. Now there is a ton of different ways that you can go with this project, but essentially what you end up doing is creating a bowl like this one, but then you put an engraving on the face or the bottom of the bowl. So what I have here is what I would characterize as an unfinished project. It's unfinished for a couple different reasons. So this is a bowl that I started creating. It's got an outline or an engraving of a dog. I think this is a Frenchie if I remember properly. Uh, however, I had my depths set incorrectly and so it carved too much and actually created a hole in the project here. I don't know if you can see that. I uh, carved all the way through the bottom which is really super unfortunate because this piece of padauk was really nice and I think this would have turned out fantastic had I not screwed up the cuts. But so essentially what you do is just create the bowl like the previous project and then you take the extra step of doing an engraving on the bottom. There are plenty of SVGs out on Google as well as Etsy if you want to choose those to do your engraving. I do encourage you to check out Two Moose Design. They have done a vid whole video dedicated on creating these bowls. Uh, I actually created a couple for the craft fair that we just did just a few weeks or so ago and they were the first things to sell out and I am uh, really kind of regretting not creating more of them for the craft fair. In fact uh, this one and another one both of which I did not <laughs> uh, do properly and I screwed up uh, did not make it to the craft fair but uh, I would have had a lot more uh, sales I think if had I had more bowls. So they do sell very well people are very fond of them and I'm getting a couple commissions too for some folks who wanted their specific specific puppy and or cat uh, engraved in the bottom of the bowl. So I think this is something that is really easy to do and it's also something that sells very well if that's something you're into. The next two projects are examples of things that I have made in the past that are super popular, but I don't have any actual examples here on hand because I sold all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to the computer and show you some examples of what I think are really astounding gifts and really super popular. The first one being uh, engraved letters to create the name of a child or a baby. So I have created a ton of these in the past. They're really easy to 
make. You simply just have to find an appropriate font, do a simple profile cut on your CNC. It does not take long. You can create them out of hardwood or you can create them out of MDF and then paint them. A lot of folks like to have the letters painted to the color of their child's room, which I think is really a good idea. And so MDF, three quarters MDF is very inexpensive. Uh, you can sell them at a fairly decent profit if you choose to do this. A little bit of sanding, a little bit of sealing, and a little bit of paint, very straightforward. The ones that I made most recently were actually made from hardwood. I had some really nice curly cherry that I used for my nephew's baby's room, I should say. <laughs> and it turned out really, really wonderfully. And then prior to that, I actually created a, a letter outline for my niece's daughter. And I did a nice little epoxy inlay in that, which turned out really well. And I actually have a video on that, which I will link above and below if you are interested in that. So the final project that I recommend is a little bit of a riff on both of the two previous projects, and that is creating a letter puzzle or an animal puzzle using a pocket in the base and then a profile for your lettering. And so these are really popular amongst the children. They're super easy to make, and so you can actually batch out a ton of them very quickly. I do recommend using some hardwood for the base and usually MDF and or a hardwood for the letters. They're just a little Little bit more durable than some of the other woods you might get but it doesn't have to be fancy uh, you could create the child's name if you want or uh, just a simple ABC letter sort of thing to teach the alphabet or you can create something more interesting like different animals giraffes and elephants and you know dogs and zebras and this kind of stuff and paint them uh, all sorts of different colors if you want to go down that road so it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be I've made a couple of these in the past they're really easy to do finishing is is very straightforward and there's a lot of not a lot of work more importantly however the tool paths are relatively simple and it's easy to get into as a beginner and so I personally find these very useful you can get the materials you know at, at one of the big box stores just a simple piece of wood and then you carve your profiles out of that it does not require advanced power tools per se like some of the other options maybe that I've highlighted here so I do think that's a nice easy entryway thing that has a high impact and high value especially to the people that receive them as gifts well, that was the video. I hoped you enjoyed it. It was a short little video running through a couple different options to get your feet wet with your new CNC, but produce things that are super popular and people really enjoy. And they really gravitate towards, especially when you're giving them as gifts. I've uh, just been really rewarded by the reaction of folks when they get uh, like their child's name carved into wood, regardless if it's hardwood or MDF or painted or something like this. So I think it's a really good way to start with your CNC, potentially make some money on the side, or as a full-time gig if that's what you want to do. But nevertheless, it's uh, something that you can really just ease your way into that project and really, really dive in all the way. All right, well, that's the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If not, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Leave your comments down below so we can make future videos better. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this that become future videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired.